things evolve very quickly. If, if you are the first one, doesn't matter if anybody is copying you. When they finish the copy, you are with the second release. So you, you keep the, the leadership. And uh, there are some initiatives. For instance, Intel, have, uh, Intel has uh, a journal which is called the Intel Technical Journal where, where they publish all the possible ideas which they are not going to patent, but they publish here in such a way that they cannot be patented by anybody else. That, that's a good idea. And, and in, the, in the same line, this uh, web, it's ip.com, uh, performs what they call defensive publishing. So this is sort of a patent office where you can patent whatever you want no matter how stupid it is but it is public domain from that moment on so nobody can patent that uh, afterwards and um, how to measure these things uh, is not so easy when you are evaluating the curriculum of a, of a researcher in this context the Instituto de Salud Carlos III decided to um, start funding the um, possibility of, of, of supporting and fostering the, the uh, better organization of these innovation processes in hospitals and the idea is that uh, their network is, uh, is uh, small in number of participants only 14 hospitals are full members of the network uh, mainly from Catalonia and, and Madrid but the idea in, in the network is that uh, there will be many more associate mem members or partners that may be other hospitals as well as uh, scientific societies, industrial companies, etc., etc. So, the goal of the network is to foster innovation in hospitals, uh, in uh, non-pharmacological applications, and the administration decided to concentrate on, on a few specific areas, which were uh, equipment, uh, devices, reagents, materials, and health uh, information technologies. The idea is that all this uh, should be put together through the uh, concept of innovation units in the hospitals, which will be the units uh, in charge of uh, supporting the users the, or the health personnel in doing this properly. Things which are out of the scope of the network explicitly are the adoption of innovation, that is not creation of innovation, Technology evaluation, that's a completely different thing. Uh, the network uh, doesn't fund research. And some areas are specifically excluded because they may have uh, different uh, profiles. For instance, pharma uh, management and, and healthcare itself and clinical research. All these areas are uh, excellent candidates for innovation but are not included under the umbrella of the, of the network. So the expected results will be, on the one hand, internal results, so results useful for the members of the network, but also external results which may be useful for, uh, for actors uh, who are outside the network. As for the internal results, for instance, uh, as I said, to foster innovation, to establish innovation detection mechanisms, uh, aspects of teaching, aspects of uh, detecting uh, uh, technological agreements and uh, technological resources and how to establish agreements, establishing synergies between hospitals and, and very important to share experiences because we, all these hospitals have uh, previous experiences and it's interesting to see what's happening with your, with your neighbor in order to copy or not to copy the initiatives. And the external expected results are coordination between the hospitals and what I call here the meta coordination because it's uh, something very common in our country that uh, you have, uh, you have uh, uh, one coordinated entity and a lot of coordinators who wait over you and in this case we may have I mean, you see for so little innovation we have how many organisms are trying to coordinate such a little innovation in our country is funny but uh, but at least we should try not to be one more organism trying to coordinate those poor few people who are doing really innovation in our country. And uh, that's meta-coordination. Okay. Uh, we have to produce the, uh, a report on the situation analysis at this moment and what we call the information model. Or if you want the resource map, but it's more than a resource map, in which we try to identify the actors. This information model should be alive in terms of... Uh, 
new companies can enter out or, or exit the, the model. And this is a tool which should be useful for hospitals, industries, and administration. And uh, to finish, just one slide on what, uh, how things are in, in my hospital in Gregorio Marañón. In Gregorio Marañón, we have um, a large uh, innovation support unit which has more than 15 people and, and uh, which uh, can uh, support users for in electronics, imaging, IT and well uh, my idea is that uh, this approach is wrong and this approach may be good for a big hospital as ours but you cannot expect to have this in any hospital, it's completely impossible so probably the model we have to follow is to establish uh, some kind of, uh, of agreements uh, uh, among hospitals or even external entities that may give this support to all of them because this, this is not uh, sustainable, which is one, one of the uh, modern words now. This is not sustainable. So I'm not going to, into this. So in summary, innovation in medical devices is a profitable activity, but in Spain, isn't it? There is a clear support by the public administration and, and the objective of the network is to identify action points and to set up a model to foster innovation process. I insist, although all this is nothing, if our industrial companies still are uh, as they are now. Thank you.